in the book of Numbers chapter 30 verse 2, Numbers chapter 30 verse 2, the Bible says, If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. If a man vow a vow unto the Lord, or swear an oath to bind his soul with a bond, he shall not break his word, he shall do according to all that proceeded out of his mouth. In the book of Psalm 89 verse 34, Psalm chapter 89 verse 34, the Bible says, My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. My covenant will I not break, nor alter the thing that is gone out of my lips. Close your eyes. Take this prayer upon loud and clear. Say, O oh Lord, grant me the grace to fulfill the vow that I have made in the past. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, grant me the grace to fulfill the vow that I have made in the past. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, grant me the grace to fulfill the vow that I have made in the past. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today's topic is making a vow dream in it. Making a vow dream in it. Are you a child of God? Are you a born again Christian? You have made a pledge in your church. And up to now, you are still struggling to fulfill your pledge, to fulfill that vow which you have made. You have vowed to, you know, to, to pay something. You have vowed to, you know, to help somebody financially. But you are yet to fulfill that vow. It's like a sin or yoke upon your life. I pray for you today. May the Lord give you that grace, you know, to pay that vow in Jesus' name. A vow is a solemn promise or decision to do something. There are different forms of vows. We have vows made to God. We have vows made for evil purpose. We have other vows like marriage, like giving, like vows in the court, and, and so on and so forth. Dream about vow is a symbol of promise, agreement, commitment, dedication, and sacrifice. Vow represents your readiness to make a promise, sacrifice, or to issue a threat as someone. For example, when you made a vow to the Lord, you must fulfill it. Vow like, Father, if you bless me with a child, I will forever worship you. Vow like, if you give me a better job, O Lord, I will serve you for the rest of my life. Vow like, I want to donate a particular amount of money to support a, a building project of a church. But unfortunately, when God granted your heart desire, most of them fails to fulfill them because of one thing or the other. Maybe your pastor is making a statement in the church that if you can make a vow of a certain amount of money, you should come out and leave your details with the ushers or with some pastor. But up to now, you left your details, you are still struggling to pay that vow. Receive that grace to pay that vow in Jesus' name. Sometimes you blame yourself why you came out to make that pledge. Dreams of making a vow with your husband, it forecasts a strong agreement and promise binded by divine covenant between you and your partner. When the vows are broken in that dream, then it affects your marriage. When the vows are broken, even in the physical realm, it affects so many things, your finances, your marriage, your health, or your children. When as a man you made a vow to the Lord, you should fulfill that vow. When a woman makes a vow, she should try as much as possible to fulfill that vow because failure to do that, it will put her in a very, very big problem. We have vow of destruction. We have vow of spiritual attack. When you dream that someone is making a vow or negative pronouncement, be aware that the devil is behind that covenant. The devil is behind that vow and the devil is attacking you. Depending on that statement, you need to cancel that vow. They shall not stand nor come to pass in your life. When a man and a woman come together and make a vow, start making all kinds of oaths, you know, blood covenant and you no know, promises that is binded between them. And after that, they tie their hand, they suck their blood, you know, and all that. All this kind of calamity begin to befall them once they break that vow. Vow is very, very powerful. It binds two forces together like bind between you and God, between you and Satan and all that. So if it's an unclean vow, you need to break it. To break a binded vow between you and your partner, it portends big difficulties and troubles to come. If you made a vow to the devil, it means you are going to be manipulated and controlled by demons. For example, if you are making an oath in a court group, either in the dream or reality, it indicates initiation and covenant into the witchcraft world. If you break such oath, 
it means deliverance, freedom, and victory over occultic powers. To so dream that you are listening to vows, it is a warning for you to mind what you say and what you hear. Think deeply before you alter any statement to someone because anything you say might be used in favor of you or against you at the court. Is there any promises you had made to someone or you have made to a church? If yes, try to fulfill that vow or that pledge. That could be the reason why things are not progressing in your life. If someone who had promised to help you but failed means causes is in place, the money covenant is blocking that favor. Dream about making a godly vow like thanksgiving, sacrifice, offering, I know, you know, having a good relationship with God. It means or indicates your readiness to have more cordial relationship with the Holy Spirit. So when you are in need of something and God is telling you, just like God is telling Abraham, Abraham, go and use your son Isaac as a sacrifice. So when you are hearing the voice of God, go and do this. You are a woman. You are believing God for a child. And God said no. And God said yes. This is what you are going to do. Make a vow. Make a vow of a certain amount of money, for example. Sow it to the life of a children's ministry. And something big will happen. And you have that money. But you refuse to follow the voice of God. That could be the reasons why things are not fruitful in your life. Always obey the voice of God and fulfill that vow. So that your ways will be opened in Jesus' name. Vow is like a solution to a problem at hand. Breaking of vow can lead to sickness, setback, stagnation, poverty, and hard times, or even disappointment, promise and fail. If you're doing that, the Holy Spirit had vowed to do something that you have been crying for. Be rest assured that it will surely come to pass in Jesus' name. When you made a vow to God, you have committed God to work on your behalf based on the condition and agreement between you and God. Vows are mentioned many times in the Bible. Anna made a vow to the Lord and said, I will not look at my affliction of your maid servant and remember me. According to 1 Samuel chapter 1 verse 11, Jephthah also made a vow to the Lord and said, If thou shalt without fail deliver the children of Ammon into my hands, then it shall be. Judges chapter 11 verse 30 to 32. Is there anything you are believing God for as a man or woman? Make a good vow today. Make a good pledge today. Your vow should attract God to do miraculous work in your life. It is well with you. Any vow you have made, as you have made that vow, by the grace of God, you will continue to see the hand of God in your life. The Bible says, as you sow, so shall you reap. And as you give, so shall you receive in Jesus' name. Instruction, try to make a pledge and fulfill it. By God's grace, you will testify in Jesus' name. Can you read the following Bible verses? Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 4 to 5, Numbers chapter 23 verse 19, Romans chapter 10 verse 9, and lastly Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, O Lord, have mercy on me over my unfulfilled pledge. Help me to fulfill them in the name of Jesus. Say, O Lord, have mercy on me over my unfulfilled pledge. Help me to fulfill them in the name of Jesus. O Lord, have mercy on me over my unfulfilled pledge. Help me to fulfill them in Jesus' name. So, O Lord, the vow between me and my husband, the vow between me and my wife, shall not be broken in the name of Jesus. O Lord, the vow between me and my husband, the vow between me and my wife, shall not be broken. Help us to maintain that vow in Jesus' name. Say, every evil pronouncement issued into my life and destiny be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every evil pronouncement issued into my life and destiny be reversed by fire in Jesus' name. Say every evil covenant that is working against my life and destiny, break in the name of Jesus. Every evil covenant that is working against my life and destiny, break in Jesus' name. Say blood of Jesus, nullify the effect of evil covenant and causes in my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, nullify the effect of evil covenant and causes in my life in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, Share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.